APV 1000 and 2000 are high-pressure homogenizers developed for R&D laboratories. Although simple to operate, minor functional trouble might occur that need rapid solutions. We will demonstrate how to quick fix four common and easily solved troubles. No flow, erratic flow, no pressure, plunger leakage. No flow is a situation when no fluid is leaving the discharge tube, even when the homogenizer is operated without any pressure. The reason for no flow is usually that the pumping valves do not close properly. This might be caused by insufficient cleaning after a previous test, or abrasion, or a damaged O-ring around the pumping valves. Or there might be large, sticky or settled particles in the fluid. In very rare cases, a blocked tube in the liquid end might also cause no flow. There are several solutions to the pumping trouble. If it's the suction valve that does not close, which you observe by backflow visible in the pressure feeder, you can try to prevent the backflow with a suitable stopper for each pumping stroke. This might start the flow and push away the blocking particles. Another simple operation is to apply and release pressure consecutively a number of times. If the pressure feeder is available, a possible solution is to apply pressure on the pressure feeder to push away blocking particles. If the homogenizer is still not able to pump even with water, then dismantling of the valve housing is required. Remove all valve housing parts Clean and inspect the pumping valves, their O-rings and springs. Change possibly the O-ring behind the seat. Turn seat if abrasion is visible. Change spring if damaged. Change ball if abrasion is visible. Erratic pumping causing too low flow rate is the second trouble that will be demonstrated. The reason for erratic pumping is very often one of the previously mentioned troubles with the pumping valves and the possible solutions are already described. But it could also be caused by air in the product. Or if it's a highly viscous product, it could be caused by insufficient feeding conditions with too low feed pressure. If erratic pumping is caused by air, then the mixing procedure for the premix should be optimized to minimize air incorporation. Degassing might be required. For viscosities above 1000 centipoise, a feed pump or pressure feeder is required. Third trouble is a situation where it's impossible to pressurize the homogenizer. The cause is that the homogenizing valve is worn or broken. Inspect the homogenizing valve and compare the surfaces with a brand new valve. seat may be turned upside down and the valve part must be changed if worn. If abrasive products are processed, it's recommended to use a homogenizing valve in tungsten carbide. If demineralized water is used for cleaning purposes, it's recommended to use a homogenizing valve in ceramics. Fourth trouble we will demonstrate is plunger leakage, where the product is observed leaking into the outlet with lubricating water then the plunger ceiling must be changed. Dismantle the valve housing and remove the damaged plunger ceiling from the cylinder assembly and insert a new one. The plunger ceiling is a packing assembly with a white packing and an O-ring. For other troubleshooting issues, please refer to the manual do not hesitate to contact SPX Flow if you encounter any issues you want to discuss or troubles you need help to solve.